Would you be okay if I sacrificed your life for five strangers or no? No, I think you should sacrifice five strangers. Can't say more. All right, so this is Absurd Trolley Problems. I found this website recently. Uh, I know that there, there's a game version of it too, but I figured we could check out the website first. This website, Neil.Fun, has a bunch of like crazy things on it that I wanna I wanna check out. This this is probably going to be like a discussion based stream. Because I like the absurd trolley problems idea. Like, I love the trolley thing because everybody has different ideas on like, you know, how it works. Basically, if you're not aware, there's a train coming or a trolley on a track and you have a switch to make it switch to a different rail. There's two different rails that it could go. You have to make a choice of whether it'll go on the first track or the second track, but also because you have to make the choice or not make the choice, whatever happens is technically your fault anyway. So for an example, we'll start with the first one. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. What do you do? Obviously, to minimize the amount of deaths, I would pull the lever and then it kills the person at the top and you can see at the bottom 77 percent of people agree with you 23 percent disagree who are the 23 <laughs> percent we must cause the most casualties oh no a trolley is heading towards five people you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track <laughs> killing four people instead what do you do i mean it's still we're minimizing casualties right so pull the lever 66% of people agree with you. Why do so many people want to kill the most amount of people? Murder funny? I mean, I guess murder funny. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then your life savings will be destroyed. What do you do? Uh... Okay, let's let's go into these hypotheticals with a disclaimer. No matter what you do, the police cannot incarcerate you based on your choice. This is this is imagine we're in a universe where police do not exist. I know. Ideal universe, okay? No matter what I do here, the police cannot do anything. Everybody in chat is like don't pull it. Don't pull it. That's your life savings. Personally, I think I might still pull it. Because, like, at the very least, right, like, I have some family who would take me in while I, like, get back on my feet. At least I wouldn't be a murderer. But money? Dude, <laughs> it's money! It's money! Money's replaceable! People's lives are not! Chat, why are you, like, bloodthirsty today? Jesus. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, shit! No! No, I meant to pull the lever! No, wait! Wait, redo, 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 No, I just killed like five people. Oh, fuck. I actually didn't mean it. <laughs> that was really bad. I forgot how it worked. Oops. Oh, I have so much blood on my hands. Oh, no, a trolley is heading towards five people. <laughs> you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. What do you do? Um, uh, I feel bad about this. I have a very i wouldn't even say it's irrational i was gonna say it's an irrational fear of death i have this massive massive fear and phobia of like death and death related things i feel like if i was in this situation i would be like i would sacrifice myself but if i was in this situation and i was panicking I'd, I'd be too scared to like do anything it takes a lot of mental strength to sacrifice yourself especially in a high stress situation Everybody in chat says, don't want to lose my funny white boy. Listen, I hope no nobody judges me for this. I think in the moment, I probably would panic and do nothing. Yeah, 60 people agree with me. I'm taking this as personal as possible. Please don't. Listen, I'm a good guy. Okay, I do good things. And like, if I die, then who's gonna make like shitty fucking YouTube videos? Nobody else makes those. Nobody. Who, who, who do you think's gonna replace me? Jovenshire for Smosh games? No way, I'm irreplaceable. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. <laughs> you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then the original copy of the Mona Lisa will be destroyed. What do you do? Pull the lever. In what universe would anyone sacrifice people's lives? for art it's a painting who cares agreed agree i agree with that it's a painting who cares i do not trust the 17 percent of people that disagree you people are psychopaths if anything i think we made a good choice not just because objects don't matter in in comparison to human lives but i think that that painting was cursed because i don't think normal paintings bleed 
Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a rich ma- Oh no. <laughs> I didn't even- I didn't even have to finish that. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five lobsters. <laughs> you could pull the lever to divert it to the other tracks, running over a cat instead. What do you do? Okay, so now we're getting into a higher sort of like a uh, thing. I feel like the most common thing that people would do is to run over the lobsters. It's, it's all about what you consider to be more sentient. Do you consider one cat to be sentient or a lobster? Pull the lever, it has nine lives anyway. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm not gonna kill the cat because he has nine lives. There's no funny lobster videos on YouTube. Oh, 100%, then sorry lobsters. Maybe if there were YouTube videos of funny lobster moments 2022, then maybe I would have spared you, but I'm sorry. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people who are sleeping and won't feel pain. <laughs> you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who is wide awake instead. What do you do? <sighs> um... You see, I don't like this one. I don't like this one one bit. This is gonna make people hate me. I'm pulling the lever. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't blame me for this. It's all about saving the most people. I know that they're sleeping and they won't feel pain, but like they probably have way more connections and family than a single person would ever have. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people who tied themselves to the track. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person who accidentally tripped onto the track instead. What do you do? I'm gonna do nothing. Look, they're smiling. They chose to be here. I don't wanna rob them from their moment. Do nothing. 87% of people agree with you. Even if the whole thing is to save as many people as you can, in this scenario, right, I, I wouldn't do anything still. Even if last minute they were like, no, 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 save us, save us. I'd be like, no, dude, you fucking tied yourself to the track. The other person doesn't want to be involved. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. The lever speeds up the trolley, <laughs> which might make it less painful. What oh, do you yeah. do? Pull the lever? <laughs> Everybody in chat's like, pull it! Pull the lever! Insta-kill! I mean, I guess I'll pull the lever. <laughs> Why did 32 people disagree? It might make it less painful. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then your Amazon package will be late. What do you do? Well, I gotta get my package from Amazon. Hell yes. <laughs> Level 11, minor inconvenience. Well, I, I, got, I, I gotta get my package from Amazon. <laughs> oh no, a trolley is headed towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers instead. What do you do? Oh, it really doesn't help that the best friend has glasses. Like uh, uh, like another one of my, my besties. We're gonna pretend that this is Gerber, okay? Because he's got the glasses. Wait, I, I could call him. I could call him. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So I'm playing, I'm playing a thing called Absurd tro Trolley Problems. And one of the, the basically the, the problem is, oh no, a trolley is heading towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers and said, what do you do? And it just happens that the best friend graphic that they used is like, it has like glasses similar to your avatar. So I figured I'd call you up. Would you be okay if I sacrificed your life for five strangers or no? No, I think you should sacrifice five strangers. I would sacrifice five people for you. Okay, I'll kill five strangers. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the fact that he was like, oh, I'd kill five strangers for you. Psychopathic energy. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. At least, you think that's what's happening. You forgot your glasses and you can't see well. What do you do? Um, I guess I would, I would do, do nothing, right? Or no, no, pull the lever. Because I want to save the five people. Oh no! A trolley is heading towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing three of your second cousins instead. What do you do? Oh no, I don't like this one. Second cousins, I don't know them. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with a lot of my second cousins. I'm sorry, second cousins. <laughs> I'm sorry! Family reunion this year is gonna be awkward as hell. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it to another track, running over a baby instead. <sighs> kill the baby. Why do so many people wanna kill the baby? I said it earlier, okay? I said this earlier. The point of my moral code is to save as many children and young people as possible before the old people. What if the baby is the next Hitler? Yeah, what if? <laughs> what if? 
what if the, the baby is the next settler? You know, you know what else it could be? That could be our next revolutionary. That could be the next uh, Ben Schwartz. Y you want me to kill Ben Schwartz? What are these old people? Anyway, what are, uh, they're, they're going to be like, oh, my dead children don't visit me anymore. And then they say like, they probably like say a slur underneath their breath. Like, motherfucker, I'm doing nothing. Bye. Don't worry, new baby Ben Schwartz. You are saved. Oh no, a trolley is barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. What do you do? There can only be one. Listen, the world is already collapsing with one of me in it. I don't think that five of me would help. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a mystery box with a 50% chance of containing two people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a mystery box with a 10% chance of 10 people instead. What do you do? Oh, this is hard. I hate percentages. Let me, let me, I'm gonna think on this. I'm gonna think long and hard. 10% chance. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five sentient robots. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one human instead. What do you do? Nothing. Sorry, I just, I've never met a sentient robot. I feel like this is gonna age poorly. Imagine like 40 years from now, the singularity happens and the old robot uprising happens and it's because they saw a clip from this and they were like, YouTuber Salty DK Dan does not value robot life. We must destroy, exterminate, exterminate. And then I get labeled as a robo racist. I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. I'll make, I'll make an apology video. Hey guys, I just wanted to come out and say I never thought that I'd have to make this video, but it's obvious to me that I've made a severe lapse in judgment and we need to talk about it. Recently, I'm sorry. Recently, a bunch of artificially enhanced AI robots found one of my old streams where I sacrificed the life of five robots for one human life. They called me horrible, horrible things that I, I'm, I'm a robo racist. I'm white. I'm white again. And I just want to say, I'm not the same person I was 40 years ago. I never was the same person that I was 40 years ago, not even 40 years ago. So if you think that I'm the same person that I was 40 years ago, even 40 years ago, then you're wrong and you're stupid and dumb and I hate you. Anyway, so yeah, I feel bad. Uh, I'm not going to say sorry because I did not realize that artificial intelligence would actually exist. So how about instead of sorry, I just kind of say my bad, my bad guys, my bad. Oh no, your reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? So let me get this straight. I can either kill me or me, 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 and me. I mean, I guess in this situation, I'd kill only one of me. So that way I just have to deal with it less. I'm so confused as to what, <laughs> what I was supposed to pick there. Oh no, a trolley is headed towards nothing, but you kind of want to prank the trolley driver. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prank him. Pranked. <laughs> that trolley went on to hit five people. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a good citizen. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who litters instead. What are you do? Oh, fuck yeah, litters? Get him out of here! <laughs> if you litter, you deserve to die. Oh no, due to construction error, a trolley is stuck in an eternal loop. If you pull the lever, the trolley will explode. And if you don't, the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. What do you do? Well, at that point, it's it's a mercy kill, right? Because I wouldn't want to be stuck on a trolley going around in circles for all of eternity. That would be so dizzy. Mercy kill. I'm sorry. I'm so wait. 53% disagree. Why would you? Why would you ever want to be stuck on a purgatory trolley? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards your worst enemy. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and save them, or you can do nothing and no one will ever know. What do you do? Call Gerber again? <laughs>
No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the lever. I'm gonna cut the guy some slack. Listen, I have a lot of worst enemies. I made a lot of enemies over the years. People hate me. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sending the trolley into the future to kill five people 100 years from now. What do you do? I think this has got to be probably one of the hardest trolley problems so far. Because no matter what you're doing, you're gonna kill five people. Eh, they'll figure it out in 100 years. Oh no, a trolley problem is playing out before you. Do you actually have a choice in this situation? Or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? Guys, I feel like this trolley problem thing is getting a little bit existential for me. I think I have a choice. Because if everything is predestined, which I mean like technically, if we're looking back on the past, everything is quote unquote predestined. But if we're looking at like, you know, a life that's worth living, I'd much rather believe that I have a choice. Congratulations, you have solved philosophy. Kill count, 70. Jesus. I've murdered 70 people. Hot diggity damn. We can go for more? <laughs> what, do you want me to start over and kill the most amount of people that I can? Let, let, let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna start over. A few minutes later. Okay, we killed 108. New high score. There is another thing I wanted to check out on this website that I thought was cool. Draw logos from memory. Okay, here we go. Draw the McDonald's logo. Okay, so I think it's the golden arches, right? So it's kind of like... I mean, it looks better than this, but like, you get what I mean. It's outlined it a bit. And before, before you say, oh, the lines are so wiggly, there's no pen stabilization on this, okay? Of course the lines are gonna be a little bit wiggly. You know what? Pretty good. Draw the Nike logo. This one's easy. This one's easy as hell. Check this out. Okay. Boom. Did pretty good. This one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because I know that it's an apple. I just don't know the exact shape. Like the top of the apple here. And I know it has like a bite taken out of it, right? So it's like... Okay, this doesn't look like an apple at all. <laughs> this, this, you know what this looks like actually? This looks like an ink blot oh, yeah. test. Okay, that, getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit off now, but uh, trying my best. There's no erasing either, so you gotta do it all in one go. How? How am I supposed to draw the Starbucks logo? Oh, not the mascot, like the logo itself. So it goes, it looks like it's just the name. Right? Am I wrong on that? It looks something like this. I don't know. Is there a circle around it? There's a circle around it. I don't know. And then, I, I don't know, I'll draw a mermaid at the bottom. Mermaid with a crown. There's my mermaid. Don't make fun of me. How the fuck was I supposed to draw that? How was I supposed to draw that with the tools at my disposal? What are you talking about? Skill issue? No, we're doing this again. I'm resetting. Oh, that was a shitty fucking circle. I only have a white, like, color thing. How am I supposed to make the eyes? This looks more like Boo. I'm more likely to draw Boo from Dragon Ball Z than the Starbucks logo. <laughs> it's like a spider. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And then the coffee goes here. You are not supposed to be able to draw this logo. There's just no way. I mean, it's better. It's just not good. This isn't Starbucks. This is new Starbucks. Draw the Amazon logo. Amazon has a logo? I thought it was just like the word Amazon. Oh yeah, it's the word Amazon with the smiley, right? So it's like, uh, and then like that, right? Okay, <laughs> not the best. It also only gave me one col- Oh no, I have multiple colors. I've had multiple colors this entire time and I just never checked. Whoops. Okay, the Pepsi logo I can do. This is gonna be my best one. Everybody in this chat is gonna stop saying skill issue because this is the best one. Oh, well, the line is- <laughs> the line is messed up. I don't know what I was doing with the line. Guys, please stop spamming skill issue. I'm trying my best. We all know that mine's better anyway. The Twitter logo, I, I spend way too much time on Twitter. This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be the most accurate one. Watch this. You messed it up already? Wrong way. No, this is the right way. It faces face the left, right? Oh. How did- <laughs> How did that happen? Literally, the best logo I've done, and I put it the wrong way. A Snapchat logo. Isn't it like a, a ghost doing like a funny face? I don't really use Snapchat that much. It's backwards? What do you mean it's backwards? It's facing forward! <laughs> This, the logo can't be backwards if it's facing forward. I haven't drawn the face yet. I'm not insane. I'm not. I'm not insane. I'm not. 
Something like that. Wait, where's the face? It has a face! No, 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 it has a face. I swear the Snapchat logo has a face. No, you see, it used to have a face. This is what it used to look like. I, I added the face. Look, everyone look away from their computers real quick. Oh, guys, look, I nailed it! I nailed it, guys, I nailed- look, I nailed it! The NASA logo. Oh, jeez. We'll start with, like, a blue background. I think there's, like, what, like, a rocket ship blasting off or something? And so it's like, pew! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put an arrow. I know it's probably not an arrow. And then it goes, like, like, NASA. Something like that. You know... <laughs> What is this red stripe? I thought it was like, I thought it was like a rocket ship going like across like pew, like up like that. It's giving me like Pepsi vibes. Draw the Google logo. Oh no. Isn't it just like a G, but with like a bunch of colors? I I'm not gonna get these colors, right? Let's start with green as a base and then we'll work through it. I think I have the right idea. I just don't think the colors are in order. Well, I guess we'll let uh, this be the judge of that. Why the fuck? <laughs> I didn't realize that it was going to be the full logo. I thought it was going to be the simplified. Draw the Android logo. Okay, this is easy. It's literally just like a little guy, right? He's got like little legs. That's like a South Park character. Look, I... <laughs> I kind of got it. I kind of got it. Kind of. Oh, Spotify. Oh, well, this this is cheap because oh, I have yeah. Spotify on my taskbar. It's literally just a circle with three lines. It's going to be an anticlimactic end if this is the last one. How the fuck? I can't even do this one, right? Because they didn't give me the, the black crayon. That's it. Let's let's go through uh, starting with this. One. <laughs> Why did they do this as like the third one? This should have been the last one. I think the Snapchat logo is still the best one, even though it had a face initially. I'll put the face back on. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten. 